In order to configure factory track to use handling unit based packing, we need to go into the common warehouse mobility handling unit based packing and select handling unit based packing parameters. In here we have the description and we have a flag to say that handling unit based packing is implemented. It is important that this flag is turned on if handling unit based packing is being implemented. We then have a default packaging item for dummy handling unit record. This comes into play when we pack part of a shipment line and we do not split it. In those circumstances we must create a dummy handling unit for the remainder of the shipment line. This is used as the packaging item for that dummy handling unit so that we can differentiate between actual handling units and the dummy handling units. If we have the option to split the shipment lines by handling unit then the default packaging item doesn't come into play. We can also select to allow loads to be split during loading. If we select this field then during the loading process we can actually split one handling unit into a different shipment. The allow shipment confirmation after loading simply means that when loading has been completed in factory track it will take you to the shipment handling screen to allow for shipment confirmation to take place. Assign dot numbers to loads can be used if we want to manually assign dot numbers to individual loads. If this parameter is selected then we need to pre-assign dot numbers to individual loads. So we would say that load 1 is to use dot number 12, load 2 is to use dot number 13 and so on. This means that when we use the loading transaction it will check that the dot that we're placing these items onto corresponds to the load.